Um, okay, so I'm going to move on and I'm going to quickly do the little dials at the side. So at first I'm making everything as separate objects. So I'm making the dials as separate objects. I'm going to make the antenna as a separate object and I'm going to make the head as a separate object. Um, I'm going to make the cord at the back as a separate object. In fact, let's do the radiator. Before we do anything else, let's use a radiator. But yeah, I'm going to make the cord as a separate object. And at the end, I'll then see if I need to combine anything to make it into one model. So I'm going to look at this hole back here. And I'm going to say I can close these here. So again, selecting, just like we did at the front with these edges here. I'm going to find these guys. I'm going to hit collapse. I'm going to do that on that one. I'm going to do that one. I'm going to do that one. Cool. So I'm also going to grab these edges, these vertex, I should say. I'm going to hold down V. So if you can see there in the middle, my little, the little square in, my, in the middle of my manipulator, when I hold down V, it turns into a circle. That means that it's looking for whatever I'm telling it to look for. So if I hold down V, that's snap to vertex. So it's looking for a vertex to snap to, and it snaps to any vertex that's closest to your cursor. It doesn't. It doesn't do anything to do with the manipulator. It's all about your cursor. Now this is quite important for making this work properly. If I hold V and I grab the center and I try and move, it's going to snap to vertex in the world. It's going to snap to any vertex you can see in the world, which is not what we want. Because by grabbing it in the center, we're giving it complete freedom to move around. But we want to line them up with these two vertex here. And by doing that, we want to basically constrict it to one axis. You can only move in this axis, but you can snap to any vertex along this axis, is what we're saying. So if we hold V and grab the Y axis, and then move our cursor towards these, you can see that it's snapping. It will be snapping to anything else in the scene, but it won't move like, it won't move like that. Where I grab the center then and moved it, it's moving wherever it wants in the scene. But if I grab the, the pivot, the actual direction, and move it, it will snap to where it wants to snap over here. But it won't move out of this axis. So if I fold V, move down, I'm going to move my mouse to this axis, to this vertex. You can see that it's nice and aligned there. I'm going to do the exact same thing for this one. See that now that's a straight edge. I'm going to go down the exact same thing to these. That's a straight. And I do I need to do that to these? Oops. No. Okay. So I'll just be safe. I'll just go over and try it. Okay. So now this box here is a lot more regular than. The smooth edges here. So this gives us, we've got this really nice smooth outer front and then we've got a more regulated, regular shape at the back. So I'm going to go and select, just select by edge and then double click the edge so you're selecting the ring. And then I'm going to hit extrude again. And what I'm going to do is go back to my side view, hit translate, which is W, and then just move it out. So I can see now that if I move this all the way to the back of the screen like this, I can see that I need to adjust this a little bit. So if I go around and select all these edges now, I can then scale that up like this. Uh, now this is where artistic license comes in a little bit more. Artistic license is just what, what in your mind looks best. Um, on the drawing, it looks really nice to have it kind of really close to the edge. But in the world of 3D, it might not look as nice, or it might just kind of stop us from doing other things. Uh, it might get in the way of the things we add later on. So I'm going to say that looks okay, actually. It gives us a nice space down here to add the cord later on. Um, and it's not too close to the edges. So when we do, I'm going to do another bevel along these edges here later on, just to add one more level of... Just one more tiny level of detail. I think I clicked something without knowing. Um, 
yeah, just one more little tiny. If I if I feel it needs it, just soften out the edges a little bit. Anyway, uh, so we've got this hole now at the back that we need to seal up, uh, and it is 22 vertex. Or if you can go around and click 22 vertex. Um, one way of sealing this hole would be to use the bridge tool again, I'd say, like this. Um, and I'm just going to go around the next experiment at this point. I'm going to see if I can make this work. So what I'm doing is losing my edger. Is I'm just working out how I can seal this without using triangles. So I made a plane. What I did is I bridged from the top to the bottom, and then I did a multi-cut. Well, <laughs> I added the, I changed the divisions so that I could make a connection from the sides to this side here and then I'm just going to kind of work out a way of sealing this hole without using any triangles yep so So I've got no triangles, I've got no end guns. Everything's a nice quad. <coughs> now the glory of this being a hard surface model means none of this is going to bend or move. So we don't need to worry about having perfectly, perfectly, perfectly even spaced quads. Um, if you're going to do anything that bend or move, you need to have like equal sized, equal spaced quads so that you get relative, you get nice relative equal movement across your model. Oops, I need to meld all these. So. You can see there that these aren't welded just yet. I only moved them in pos into position using the um, snap to vertex tool that I showed you before. So if I go to vertex mode and I drag a selection box over this section, if I just go to this button here, this is my weld tool or my merge tool. So when I go and alter this now, you can see that they're all moving nicely together. And I'm just going to make this nice and big so that. So now that is a sealed object now. I just it's my own personal sort of. There we go. Yep. So if you follow these where edge flows around now, you know. Nice and sealed. Good. Nice. So I'm gonna do another save there. Call it zero three. 